Hello everybody, I'm Storm here. Welcome back to Hearts of Iron 4, Millennium Dawn, Vietnam. In the last episode, we worked on distributing a lot of our troops out to our various borders. Uh, we kind of have a preliminary setup at the moment. We're going to need a bunch more divisions to kind of make sure everybody gets covered. And uh, hope that our allies and puppets can uh, also help fill the gaps. And, uh, yeah. So far, things are looking pretty decent. We are going to need to continue filling out um, this army here in Theater 3. And we're going to have to probably expand both of these theaters to the same size as Theater 1, if not larger. But we'll see how it all goes. At the moment, we have the remaining brigades trained or training. Um, do I want to just throw everything into the pile? It's probably worth throwing everything into the pile. All right, then. Let's get this going, then. So, we are going to need two armies of 24 divisions per theater. So that's four... 96. I wish I could just, like, type it in, but... Oh, well, here we go. I will need 96 infantry divisions. Keep going. One too many. And they all are fully equipped. Oh, how about that? Just drop them somewhere. There we go. And then we will need uh, 48 mechanized infantry. And we'll need 48 armored. Uh, Malta left the European Union, so be it. European Union is... No longer relevant, I don't think. This will also let us know exactly how much equipment we're actually going to need to bring our army up to this size. Alright, and then... The Light Infantry Divisions, 48 of those. Uh, 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 uh. Ah! 
Oh, too many clicks. One, two, three, four, five, six, seven. There's a new attack helicopters. Oh, uh, quite one more. There we go. I think 48 divisions. 49 divisions. Nope, nope, nope. We need to get rid of one of those. Mm hmm. Uh, 48 divisions and 96 divisions. All right. All right, wolf packs, attack helicopters. All right, let's get the attack helicopters going. Advanced submarine warfare. I don't want to burn too much Navy experience because we're going to need it to design ships, hopefully, eventually. And all of our helicopters are done. Now, what was I saying that I was going to do with this? Ah, ships, right. We need to start working on our nuclear reactors. Let's get it going. Now, there is something we could do or try to do. Oh, we can apparently reduce the UK to a puppet. Can we? Yeah. All right. Um, let me check my other uh, subjects. Ah, France can be reduced. Um, Ireland's already a puppet. Lithuania. Russia. Ukraine. Kazakhstan. Bring everybody down to puppet status. And then get them suppressed down to the point, I think, where we can... Or at least close to the point where we can turn them into autonomous regions and then we can switch over to something else. Alright, now, as I was saying, um, they are our puppet state now, right? So... Um, can we license uh, like a cruiser design and a carrier design? Like Do they have any better aircraft carriers? Um, no, but it would be a start. 
Okay. I saw some 1975 cruiser designs. I wish I could just sort or filter this. Frigates. Destroyers. Corvettes. Battle cruisers. Mm. I'm not sure we're going to have the luxury of battle cruisers and battleships. But we could potentially just get maybe like a diesel um, carrier. We don't have a reactor yet. Though I don't think I can actually adjust their design, can I? Because there's a Centaur class. An actual named class. And I guess we could take that uh, cruiser and just see what it does. All right. All right. Let's see what that gets me as far as ships. Like, what can I do with this 1995 carrier hull? Okay. I can actually change the design. All right. I would want to get it some guns. All right. Okay. We would want point defense. Of course. We would want a vertically launched uh, surface to air. At least. Radar, yes. It had to be jet turbine powered. Now, light deck, light deck, light deck, light deck, light deck, light deck, and uh, maybe those anti ship missiles. So it can at least fight to some extent. Let me uh, come up with a name here. Okay. We're going to call this the Ganda class, which is kind of like uh, Intrepid. I'm going to go with like a... sort of British style of ship name. Considering this is... Design is over three flight decks. Okay, so we can't put six flight decks on there. Okay, no problem. That's fine. Since it is, you know, a British origin hall. 
there we go. We have ourselves our first aircraft carrier. Real aircraft carrier. Um, what does the air wing look like? 24 attack helicopters and four fighters. Yeah, yeah, that uh, that actually sounds like it's a plan. Uh, we did get a a design change. Okay, let's just keep working on this stuff. Drones, new equipment. All right. Now we have that cruiser. British 1975 era cruiser. Um, we don't really have like heavy guns for it though. Not a problem. Yeesh, you put enough uh, Sea Whiz on here? Good grief. Any ship missiles, please. Vertically launched surface to air missiles. Radar, advanced integrated, jet turbines. Um, ooh. Uh, we want anti submarine missiles. Um, we probably want more light guns. And. Any submarine mortar? No. Torpedoes. Torpedoes! And more guns? Ooh, fuel tank. Yes, fuel tank. Okay. Let's pause there for a second to get the, uh, the class name that I wanted. Um, I think that's what we're going to go with. I double check. Um, it's like courageous, I think translates to is fine. There we go. Okay, are we, like, stocked up on stuff? We are pretty well stocked up on Corvettes. I can probably move some Corvettes. So let's see here. Um, we need more tech metals. Okay, Corvettes. Let's go ahead and get rid of that because we just built one. we have more anyway um what do we need mbts we're gonna need more mbts okay so let's throw those factories into mbts okay holy cow we got an absolute ton of factories probably because we absorbed um, we reduced all that autonomy. Put them in the guns. Make us some guns. All right. We're short 131 tech medals. Yikes. Okay. Um. We can't bring in that much, like, at all. I mean, unless we were to completely absorb 
uh, as I mentioned, I think I mentioned before, that there just aren't that much. Unless we went after Central Africa. Not impossible. Last not look, though, they'll join the Freedom League. Okay. Um, hmm. What is consuming tons and tons? This is. If we were to back that off, it would help. I mean, we have a fairly large stockpile. It would just be good to... Our MBTs are consuming a massive amount of tech metals. But we need those MBTs. Okay. What we could do instead... Is kill one of our lines of... Submarines... The Corvettes are not using them. Still not enough. One T. Now that we might be able to compensate for. There we go. Okay. Fortunately. We are now basically stuck. All right. That means that this production is now of a much lower priority. So is our factory production. We don't really... I mean... We'd want it for GDP per capita, but right now I think the infrastructure is more important. So let's get that done. Okay, so we should have Did I choose the wrong type of groups here. Maybe. Those are mechanized. Yeah, that should be right. And there's armor. Yeah, that's... That's right. Yeah, I think these are the wrong type of infantry. They should have been light infantry rather than regular infantry. But, you know what? It's fine. I mean, motorized, it's actually better infantry. <laughs> the reason why we do light infantry is, you know, for equipment purposes. But that's kind of not necessary anymore. Alright. So let's get these guys some commanders. That's one of the things that's going to kind of slow me down, I think. On the new armies. Okay, so now that we're filled out here, we can actually establish some front lines. 
I'm pretty sure. Let's make sure we get... That done. All right, so you guys... Those are light infantry. Right, okay. That's fine. Ah, you are Freedom League. Okay. Oh, I gave you an assignment. I guess I didn't. Okay. Armor is there. Infantry brigades. I need you up there. Get you over here. Let's put you... Oh, no, no, no. Let's not put you there. Mind, we're going to put you over here. Good. Mechanized. Ah, right. Forgot about these guys. Uh, you guys come over here to... Venezuela and Guyana. Infrastructure is starting to get improved over here, which is good. So, that'll get sorted here soon. All right, how far behind? 182 days. Our first care is going to be done on the 25th of April, 2040, two years from now. Though the cruisers are actually going to build relatively quickly. That's good.
All right. Well. Coming along here. But I think this is where we're going to go ahead and end the episode. Yeah. We're about time. All right. So. Once we start getting our first cruisers and our first aircraft carriers, then I can actually set up a strike force design and uh, get that those all set up. And it'll just take some time to get them filled in. We really need to run multiple lines of aircraft carriers. But, um... This... Is the problem. Well, maybe once we get our backlog of MBTs dealt with, we can cut that back and that might free us up to be able to do another line of aircraft carriers. All right. But for now, as I said, we'll stop here. So I hope you guys enjoyed it. Thanks for watching. Go ahead, like, subscribe, and comment, and I will see you next time.